what we're doing here today is basically hazard fuel reduction. And in that, we would like to take uh, some grass out of the uh, equation here, just in case fires get started and we're on post and we kind of like to burn the perimeter of the base because we're bumping up towards uh, some private property there or the SRA, the state response area. And if we have a nice little black line here, it just gives us a good buffer zone so we don't have to stress as hard when the uh, troops accidentally start their fires. The different ordnance they use uh, between smoke grenades, flashbangs, uh, tracers from their uh, machine guns and all that stuff, that, that starts fires. Uh, even though we put precautions in place, there's uh, still sometimes it just, it just happens. It's more to protect uh, the private property. It protects us um, as far as us being able to hold it easier when it starts on base here. So for example, that's the NPRC over there that they do a lot of machine gun stuff and grenade launchers and something starts over there and blows across here. We know we have this buffer here for us. And so it's just, it's a big safety for the community basically. Uh, these are just Nomex, uh, fire resistant material that we use on wildland fires. And it goes along with also some uh, web gear that we use with fire shelters and all that stuff that you see the guys using, using the drip torches down there and actually start, starting the control burn. Coming up towards 4th of July, you start getting fireworks that kind of, even if they say they're safe and sane, they still are obviously a, a fire hazard. And then obviously the cigarettes out the windows, that can be a problem and that has started fires in the past. If you're off-roading, the exhaust gets hot enough and then you can uh, start fires that way. And I've seen it happen before. What they do sometimes is they'll clear an area around, especially susceptible trees. And what happens is that when the fire goes through, if they have cat faces or anything, basically holes the bottom of the trees, uh, the fire gets up in those pretty easily. And if they do that, it clears some of the fuel around it so it's less likely for that to happen. It depends on uh, when the fuel is actually cure enough for us to actually burn without making it mosaic, which almost makes it useless. So we have to wait long enough in the year for that to get going and then we also have to time it with the different exercises that are coming in. So right now we've got about a two to three week window that we're going to be working with and hopefully we'll get anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 acres in in those three weeks. Um, and the places we concentrate on, like I said, our borders, our, so our southern borders and our northern borders, those are the two we're hitting first this year. And then we go concentrate on our impact areas like uh, the MPRC there and then places like Stony Valley and stuff like that where we know it's going to happen and so we just preempt it. And it also saves on their training, uh, their training hours. Mm -hmm.